Hi and welcome to WP Tuts. In this video, I want to demonstrate one of the new features that's in the forthcoming Elementor 2 plugin. Now, this is something that's still in public beta, so this is not the final version and isn't publicly available just yet. You can download the demo and test it out if you want to, but I'd highly recommend waiting for the finished version. So, let's just jump into WordPress, take a look at what this new feature is and what it can do. So with the forthcoming release of Elementor 2, one of the big new features they've added in there is the ability to start using pre-designed blocks. Now, if you've ever used any of Elementor's sort of templates before, you'll know that you can simply click on a template you like, load it in, that kind of creates the entire page layout for you, and then you can go in and fine tune it to get exactly what you want to meet your particular requirements. So use it as kind of a starting point. Well, the blocks are basically building block elements. So instead of the entire page, you can now call in a hero, or you can kind of call, sort of call in a call to action, and then you can customize it and do what you want with it. So I'm going to take you through this video, not get, sort of showing you exactly how all these different functions work or the basics of Elementor. I just want to sort of show you a use case example of how this could speed up rapidly developing websites and web pages. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how you could use this in a sort of typical case scenario where you may want to create a landing page for a forthcoming offer offer or a video tutorial or something like that. So let's take a look at how we can use them. First thing we're going to do, we're in the dashboard of WordPress. I've got Elementor Beta, Elementor 2 Beta installed, and I've also got Elementor Pro installed. So you may see that if you don't have the Pro version, some of the different options may not be available to you, and some of the templates definitely won't be avail available to you. So you would need the Pro version to get access to those in the future. Anyway, let's go through and create a new page. We're going to call this one Landing. And what we're going to do is, as always, we're going to set this to be a landing page, which means we get rid of all the extraneous things that we don't need on the page, things like the headers and the footers and so on, if you've got those set up. So you're going to click on that. Now, I'm using Ocean WP as the theme in this. So some of the features that you may see on here may not be available in whatever theme you use in. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to disable any sort of margins that are on there, and I'm also going to make sure that this is full width, so I have no sort of elements, any sort of columns left or right on there. You probably won't need to do this if you're not using this theme or using something else. So I'll hit publish to make sure those saves, we save those changes, and now we're ready to sort of jump into Elementor. So we're going to click to open that up, and you're going to see the interface looks pretty much exactly the same as it's looked for the last sort of iteration or the major iteration of Elementor. If we're going to come up, we're going to go into Add Template, like we normally would if we're adding a sort of full page template, so we'll click on there. And you'll see we now have a new block, pardon the pun, which is the blocks section. So you can see this is by default. These are all the templates that are pre-installed as part of Elementor. As you can see, some of those are denoted with Pro in the top right-hand corner, saying that you need a Pro account to be able to access those. We also have My Templates, which we've kind of had for quite some time, which allows us to create our own custom templates and save those out. And this is where we can see those. Finally, like I say, we've got the new block section. If we expand that out, you can see we now have a ton of predefined block layouts. Currently, there are 250, and I'm sure there will be a lot more when they actually release the final version and ongoing. Again, you can see we've got Pro in the top right-hand corner of quite a few of these, saying that they're only available to Pro users. We can also come up to the top left-hand corner, and we can filter these out based upon their category. So you can see at the moment, we've got about call to action clients, contact and so on. So we have a huge array of different options. So let's just say we want something like the hero image. So let's click on that and you can see that now gives us a range of different pre-laid out hero images. Now remember these are just starting points. They're not the be all and end all. You can change any aspect of it because they're just a typical elemental sort of block level design. It's just they've been pre-built for you and then you can use them as a starting point. So what we'll do is we'll choose this one in a moment, but we've got a couple of options. We can insert it or we can save it as something we can sort of love this particular one. It becomes one of our favorites then. We can also come up and search. So if we know we want to search for something in particular, we can simply click on the search, type in the word or phrase that we want and see if there's anything that matches that particular function or phrase. My favorites allows us to filter out. So if we choose this one as a favorite and this one as a favorite, we can use my favorites and we can see exactly what we've chosen to be our favorites. Click again, puts it back to where you were before, which is showing everything in that particular category. If you want to get rid of that search for the categories, you can just simply click on the X to get rid of it and clear it. And now you'll see everything in there. Or alternately, obviously, you can come in and you can choose a different category. So we may say portfolio and we'll now see all the portfolio options. OK, so that's really all there is to it. There's nothing sort of rocket science about this, nothing that's earth shatteringly different or complex. It's just predefined building 
building block elements we can use as the basis to start our page. So let's go back to our hero image. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to choose one that I think is appropriate. So I'm going to say this is an event, so it's counting down to a launch. So what we'll do is we'll choose this particular one in the top right-hand corner. I'm not going to click on the preview because currently there's a little bit of a bug with this particular beta version, which means once you preview it, you can't actually get rid of that preview until you close the editor down, go back out of your page to the WordPress admin, and come back in. But that'll be fixed pretty soon. I'm sure it's been noted in the GitHub for being a problem. So just bear that in mind if you experience it as well. So I'm going to say this is the one that I want, so I'm going to click on Insert. Once that's done, that inserts it into the page for us. So pretty easy. If we scroll down, you can see we've just got that one building block element in there. So let's go back into our templates, come back into our blocks, and let's do the next thing. So let's just say we want to have a call to action. Now, I've got a dark header, so I don't want a dark sort of call to action. I want something that's going to stand out a little bit. So let's just choose something simple like this particular one. We'll insert that in there. Again, you can see it's inserted. It takes us back out of the sort of area we can pick what different blocks we want. And we come back and we take a look at our page. Come back into Add Template. Come back to our block. And let's just say we want to put something something else in this. Have a little look what else we've got. So we've got services and stats and team and testimonials. Well, let's say we want to have a testimonial in there. Because obviously we're really proud of the fact that the beta test is for our particular widget or event or something like that. Really want to tell everybody about it. So let's find something we think that looks good. I like the look of this one, so I'm going to say I'm going to insert that in there. Uh, you can see that's inserted in. And we put one or two final blocks in there just to sort of finish off our page. So we'll say add from template again, come back to our blocks. This time we're going to have an FAQ in there because obviously people want to know all the ins and outs of what we're doing. We're going to keep this kind of theme of black, white, black, white just to see the con continuity between everything we're doing. We can insert that into there. And we'll say, yeah, that's looking pretty good. We'll leave it at that. So there's our basic page. We'll hit update. We've now created our starting point. Now, obviously, this is going to look the same for everybody. So let's go through and change some of these and see how quickly we can use this rapid way of developing a landing page, for example, just using these building block elements as our starting point. So let's kick things off with this header section. Obviously, I don't want the text that's in there. I don't want the picture that's in there. But it's a good starting point for me. So what I'm going to do is select it. We're going to say, let's stretch the section so it goes full width so our sort of hero image has some impact on there. We'll leave the content to be boxed because we like that in the middle there. But I'm going to change the image. So I'm going to do is jump over to style, click to change the image, and I'm going to upload something that I think is relevant or more relevant to what I'm doing. So this is an event. We'll say if someone's traveling. So we'll say this looks pretty good. We'll insert that in there. And you can see immediately it updates with the content that we want. Also want to draw attention to this a little more. It's kind of getting lost because the background is now a little busier. Obviously, if I wanted to, I could put a color overlay on my background, but I like the sort of the image itself. I don't want to do that at this point. So I'm going to click, come to style, and we're going to set a background color on there. So we say we want this to be black, semi-transparent. And because we've done that, we need to put a little bit of white space around there, or a little bit of extra space around. Jump into advanced, drop some padding in there. Let's just say we'll put 30 pixels of padding all the way around update our page and as you can see if we just take this off of the side we've taken what was at a starting point and we've tweaked it to what we want so now we can go in and take a look at changing the text if we want to simply by bringing the editor back up click in there change it to whatever we want doesn't really matter i'm going to say special event we're going to say travel event and as you can see it picks up all the style that's already predefined but if we want to change that we can change anything it's just a normal piece of elemental sort of Design. We can do whatever we want with it. So we come down, found something interesting. No, we're going somewhere interesting. So you can see we can very quickly and easily come in and change any aspect of this that we want. If we don't want this picture, we can drop something else in there. If we want to change the text for our testimonial, we can change it. If we want to change the FAQs, we can change all that. It is just a typical built up series of elements or series of widgets from Elementor with this predefined layout. Again, we can do the same thing on this. If we want to, we can come in here. We can say we don't want that. We want to stretch it out, make it a little bit more in keeping with the design. Hit update. And we say we're pretty much done. We've gone through. We've changed all the text to what we want in there, changed the images. But we've now created a page that's a little bit more customized that that entire sort of page template that's always been in Elemental kind of gives us where we'd have to change those blocks, the order of those blocks and so on if we didn't like it. But this way, we can very easily go in and create some great looking pages very quickly and easily. 
So let's just jump back out of this, exit to the dashboard, and let's take a look at our new page. So let's just open that up. And as you can see, all the changes we've made have all taken effect, and we now end up with a great looking landing page that allows us to start setting this new travel event that we've just created. But we've gone through and done it in minutes as opposed to 30, 40, 50 minutes, an hour, hour or two, whatever. Especially if you're not really that accustomed to designing websites, web pages, or landing pages. This does open up a lot of options for those people that are a little bit, they have a good idea, but don't necessarily have a design background to create things that are great looking. So that's the basics of the new blocks as part of the Elementor 2 update that'll be coming soon. What do you think of this idea? I mean, I'm going to hand this over to you guys. Pop in the comment section below what you think. Do you think this is a good idea? Is this kind of taking Elementor away from its core, which is allowing designers to create great looking websites and making it more open to people that don't necessarily understand how to create great websites? So we just end up with a bunch of cookie cutter sites that all look the same because they're using these same building blocks and same templates. Or do you think this is a really good way of moving forward with allowing people to rapidly develop websites using these as starting points? So let me know what you think of that in the comments section below and what you'd like to see in future iterations of Elementor 2, the kind of things that you think that would be a good add-on and how you think this could develop, especially look at the blocks element. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified every single time we upload new content. Comments, questions, or feedback on this video, anything else you'd like to see on the channel, pop those in the comments section below. Until next time, take care.